Okay, hi everyone and welcome to the 2020 Furry Convention. Today I'm going to be your guide through all the things that you're going to need to know about the furry world. Starting off, I should probably explain what a furry is. Furries have been around since the early 1980s and use specific words and phrases according to the Urban Dictionary. For example, forever would be forever and awesome would be possum. So to sum this whole thing up, it's basically you put paw and fur in front of any possible words you can. Now these furries can range anywhere from dogs to dinosaurs and absolutely anything in between. They're anthrophobriac and this means that they speak, are obsessed with animals doing human-like characteristics. For example, speaking human languages, wearing human clothes, and walking on two legs. Furries do not go by their human given birth name and actually go by names that they create while they're in costume. And if they do not get called the name that they want to be called in costume, they can get extremely offended. Speaking of their costumes, they take hundreds of hours to make and cost thousands of dollars, with the average price being $4,500 according to whomakesthesuits.net. Now that we've gone over what a furry is, let's talk about some stereotypes that they have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. Starting off with furries are depressed or just unhappy. This is false. And according to a study done by AustinFurs.com, people who identify with being a furry are actually happier than those who do not and actually have a stronger sense of self-identification. Furries that are in high school have more confidence than their peers because of the support that they get from the furry fandom, which is just what they call the furry community. Being a furry is a sexual thing. This is actually completely false. This started because people who don't understand the furries and think they're weird and all that stuff need to make sense of it all, and they came up with this as their conclusion, when in reality, it's just people who like to dress up like animals to escape the real world and feel like a kid again. They do this because we express ourselves through hair, clothes, and social media while they actually express themselves through the costumes they wear. So if they're like a more confident person and outgoing, they'll wear like a lion suit and act like a lion. And if they are more shy, they could be like a bunny. Now another stereotype is that they're all part of the LGBTQ community. And this stereotype is actually pretty true, with 80% of them identifying with this community and the other 20% considering themselves heterosexual. But this doesn't even really matter because when they're in their suits, they don't identify with the gender or sexuality most of the time. The last stereotype that I have is that they are social outcasts. This is actually false as well. And most of them are actually regular people that we've probably seen like at work, in school, or at a restaurant and would have no clue. They do regular nine to fives and are not dysfunctional or socially awkward at all. Now I should probably explain what the furry conventions are. And this is where they rent out a place and have like thousands of people in costumes. And then people who aren't in costumes actually, or just can't afford them because they are so expensive will try to create their own, which don't look as good, but they'll still wear them or parts of them. And then they will also either just act like the animal they wanna be without the costume. But they show each other their artwork or paint there, um, show each other stories that they have wrote about the furry, like what's it called, like fan page or something like that. And then, yeah, and they have just some normal conversations, which I didn't expect. They can also play games like tag or hide and go seek. Now, most furries meet online due to the fact that it just doesn't come up in a regular conversation and you don't find other furries like by just bringing it up in a conversation. So they actually have chat rooms in each of the 50 states, like Iowa has its own chat room and it's just for Iowa, uh, people that identify with furries that live in Iowa. And so that is actually the end. Today we have gone over what a furry is, stereotypes about them and what they do at the conventions and I hope that you guys come back next year and have learned a lot today.